There is no doubt that democracy improved the lives of the citizens of Athens, and it's no coincidence that this period produced a huge amount of human endeavour, but it was far from perfect. Slavery was readily accepted. Women and metics did not have a vote, and some decisions made directly by the masses did not always produce the best outcomes. This is a view shared by the great philosophers Socrates, Plato and Aristotle. Plato was totally against it. Aristotle, although he wrote a great deal about democracy, suggested a mixed government was the ideal form. Aristotle was eventually exiled from Athens, and Socrates, well, he suffered a greater fate. He was sentenced to death by a democratically elected jury for allegedly not worshipping the city gods and corrupting the youth by encouraging them to question authority. Regardless, the ancient Greeks left us with much more than just democracy. The Olympic Games, philosophy, science, music, art, architecture, literature, drama, comedy, and a large amount of the English language. But the waging of war eventually took its toll on Athens. The Athenians uh, were able to maintain the democracy for 200 years, uh, and one reason for that is that they were a reasonably powerful military power throughout the classical period, and as such they could stop uh, enemies from conquering them and putting down the democracy. However, when they lost that capacity to protect themselves, when they lost the capacity to maintain their independence from military rivals, then their democracy was in trouble. So right at the end of the classical period, in the, the last decades of the fourth century, Athens loses badly to the new kid on the block, the new military power in the Mediterranean, the Macedonians. And as a result, uh, they have to put up with a garrison in their city uh, which uh, polices um, a new political order uh, which is much narrower than democracy. So really at the end of the day it was the inability of the Athenians to uh, stand up or to, to challenge effectively a significant new military power which allowed the overthrow of their democracy by an external power.